Here we are in Indianapolis, Indiana in July of 2011, right in front of the home which uh, the founding meeting of the John Birch Society took place. It is now in, uh, an ad agency. Um, and, and we just met the owner of the house. Uh, it's used, it was used for a number of things over the years. Um, he's probably the third or fourth owner since uh, Miss Margaret Dice owned it in 1958. Miss Dice was a friend of Robert Welch. They were sort of pen pals. She was a patriotic anti-communist and got in touch with Robert Welch uh, because Mr. Welch had a One Man in Opinion magazine, plus he'd written a few books, The Life of John Birch, and also, uh, again, May God Forgive Us. Anyway, Robert Welch got together uh, 11 of his uh, colleagues in the National Association of Manufacturing, December 8th and 9th of 1958. And he gave a two-day talk in the living room here in this house, which uh, became sort of the blue book of the John Birch Society, the transcripts, which is still available. And um, anyway, after that two-day talk, Mr. Welch uh, summed up his game plan, his action plan, I should say, and it was uh, to form a grassroots organization that would help to expose uh, the New World Order. I don't know if the term New World Order was used at that time, but anyway, uh, very, it's a very interesting place, a beautiful neighborhood. And for those of you who would like to learn more about the John Birch Society, who John Birch was, who Robert Welch was, I suggest you go to jbs.org. Or in Indianapolis, you can get a hold of the um, Facebook page as well as the meetup group, the John Birch Society in Indianapolis. So, thank you. Cool. All right, let's go take off.